Like two shotting elites? Bro. Another legendary? Let's go. What's up, guys? War here. Welcome back to the channel. We are on day one of the uh, open beta for everybody on Diablo 4, and we have begun our build guides for you. We're coming with a bunch of guys for all the characters. Today, we're going to be talking about the Bone Spear Necromancer build with the highest crit chance you guys have ever seen. So, we're right here inside the uh, Maligan's uh, Stratum or Stratum. We're about to go fight this boss, okay? We're going to go over everything you need from the build and how it plays, okay? Here we go. So starting out, you're going to have, uh, you're going to have, let's scroll all the way up. We're going to be doing uh, bone splitters. We got bone splitters here, which are going to be splitting off. This is going to be our main attack spell along with enhanced to give us 30% chance to split. And then we have hitting them with at least the th uh, three times gives us 8% critical strike chance for four seconds. So this is huge. We're just going to be spamming this to keep our essence up. Okay, so then we come down to Bone Spear, guys. Bone Spear is our next big one. We want to max this out. This is going to be doing all of our damage. Okay, then we got Enhanced Bone Spear. And then we're going to go with Supernatural Bone Spear because the first enemy that we hit is going to be vulnerable for three seconds, and this is very important. Okay, then we skip down. We come down here. We want Bone Prison. We want one rank in this. Then we want to go with Enhanced Bone Prison because enemies trapped in there are going to give us Essence. And then we have um, Bone Prison. Enemies inside of Bone Prison are going to be vulnerable. So we got Bone Prison. Everything in here is going to be vulnerable. We're going to be spamming Bone Spear. So then we go down. We're not going to be taking Iron Maiden. We're going to take one point into Keprify. And we get two more ranks from our items. Now, guys, here's the one change. I have items that give me these. So I just took the one point in here as if you didn't have an, an gear item that gave you this. Otherwise, you would take the one point from here and max Death's Reach Out. We're going to go two in here for 8% increased damage against distant, distant enemies. We're going to come down, and this is where we get a huge increase in our crit stuff. Okay, We want Serration, one point, because skills have a, a half a percent chance to, uh, on Critical Strike to give us Essence. But then we're going to max out Compound Fracture, critically striking an enemy 10 times with Bone Skills. Your Bone Skills will deal 15% increased damage. And then we have, uh, what is it, Evolution. Your bone skills deal 18% increased critical strike damage against vulnerable enemies. Remember earlier I said they need to be vulnerable. Then we have no ultimates. So that is the build, guys. Now, one thing that we got to talk about is with the builds for the Necromancer is you have access to the Book of the Dead. So our Skeletal Warriors on Skirmisher, we're sacrificing those. The reason we, uh, being is because we get our critical strike chance is increased by 5%. So as you can see, we go over to our profile here. We have a critical strike chance of 10% base. That's before any of our other abilities kick in. Very important. This build is all about critting. So then we're going to go down. We're going to close that. We're going to go to uh, Skeletal Mages. We have Cold Skeletal Mages because as they attack, we get two Essence back. Um, Bone Spear does cost a lot of Essence, guys. So we need that Essence back. And then, of course, we're going to go with Golem Bone. Um, this is just as a meat shield to help us because we do not have skeletal, uh, skeletal, um, skeletal warriors. Otherwise, the 10% increase attack speed would actually be pretty good, but we're using this as our meat shield. Now, let's go over the gear and everything that you need for this. You're only going to need two main items, but anything else is really good that we have here. So, the main item that you're going to need is splintering dragon spine. That's it. Any two-handed weapon is great, but you want the bone spear. Primary attack makes enemies hit beyond the first one vulnerable. So that means we took the node where our first one's vulnerable and then anything beyond that is vulnerable. So everything we hit is gonna be vulnerable. And then bone shards from bone spear deal 185% bonus damage to vulnerable enemies and pierce them. So that means we're gonna to continue to pierce, we're gonna make everything vulnerable and they're all gonna take a lot of crit damage. It's insane. The next main one you need is this. You can get this from doing uh, dungeons, but it's critical strikes with bone skills, increase your essence regeneration by 20% for four seconds. This is gonna help us spam Bone Spear the entire time. So how this build works, guys, is that we don't do anything with these two. We're gonna use Decuprify to slow down our enemies. We're gonna put Bone Prison on them to make them vulnerable. And then all we're doing is just spamming Bone Spear until we're low, and then we're gonna spam this to get it back, and we're gonna spam Bone Spear. So let's go showcase how strong this build is besides the gameplay you guys have already seen. I need more time. Let's do it. Boom. Look at his health bar. Look at his health bar. 
Look at his health bar. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. We just deleted him. This build is absolutely insane, guys. If you're playing Necro and you love uh, Bone Spear from Diablo 3, this is the build for you. I want to give a big shout out and thank you to Darkblade and my community in chat for helping me make this build. We're bringing more build guides for you, but big shout out to you guys. This build is absolutely insane. Go try it. It's just crit city. This build is nuts, guys. So try it out. Like the video if you guys have enjoyed it. Comment down below what do you guys think about this build. And if you're playing Necro, let me know if you tested it out. And as always, stay gaming, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.